Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. We last left our intrepid heroine, uh, where do we leave her? Uh, basically at the end of High Tower of Flame. This is the stats we are going with right now. Nothing particularly changed since last time. The only thing that has changed is the fact I've gone and farmed this ring. Which will allow us to do some PvP a bit easier. Hopefully, anyway, that's the plan. Uh, whether it'll actually bloody happen or not is there. Oh no, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. I also got the stone ring, which it can be found at the very, very start of the game. You take the first bonfire, go back through the house, and basically go around the corner to find this big hippo looking freak, and go do him in. And he drops a stone ring, which is really quite nice, and it's really quite decent as well. The idea is it increases the poise damage you do to enemies, which, uh, with some weapons already a lot, some very little. With the punching, I'm not entirely sure, but I thought it'd be a good idea to get it anyway. I did that off camera because it's kind of a tedious sort of fight, really. Punch, 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 punch. Uh, damage hasn't increased, obviously, that much since our last excursion out. Um, I'm still finding it really weird not to have a shield, but whatever. People were advising me you can actually go through that on the first roll, which is completely correct, but I'm not going to risk it. Ooh. I'd rather just wait them out, because it's just less hassle. There we go. Uh, this part of the game isn't particularly difficult, we just got to go down a passageway, really. Um, not a lot to it. Treasure ahead. Yes, yes, indeed. So, treasure involves a human ephedry, and some other bits. Uh, Soul of a Proud Knight, always useful. An old knight halberd. Eh, fairly decent weapon. Um, never anything against halberds at all. Right, so the plan of action is we're going to go to an area called the Old Man's Wharf. Uh, the Old Man's Wharf? That's not what I meant to say at all. No Man's Wharf, in fact, I don't know why I had Old Man on the brain. Weird. Whatever. Just father under Halloween goes nuts. Excuse me. Okay, um... I've only got one repair dust. As you probably noticed, my uh, fist weapons go down in quality very, very quickly. Dead end, by the way. Pointless. I think. Famous. Sorry. He says that. Uh, just let me check. Is this the dead end? I think this is the sign that says pointless. Be wary of liar. Alright, well, no liar here, but there's certainly a dead end. Now, anyway, let's go punch this wanker. Alright, wanker. Punch, 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 punch. Easy peasy. The only problem with, of course, the dis the sort of lower um, durability on the items is it can be a bit of a pain in the ass when you've got longer sections like the one coming up, which I'm not particularly looking forward to, but hey, we'll see how it goes. I've got one repair powder. I may have to do the section twice by opening up the shortcut. Actually, no, I've got a better idea. I've got something else I can do. Um, I can just do some co-op and get my stuff back. Which ain't so bad, really. Also, beautiful special effects on the water here with the torches. This game really is a good looking game. Like, I know it's not like The Witcher 2 standards or anything like that, but it's still a damn fine looking game and it runs beautifully on the PC. For the most part. I mean, I'm recording this at 30 frames, but it lets me play it at 60, which is really weird. But luckily it comes out at 40. At uh, 30. Piss knows how that works, but whatever. So, I get a smooth experience while... Pardon me, consider. While also having a... Um, Ugh. Yeah, punching the balls really hard. Yeah, what do you say about that, mate? Yeah. We can go up here and get some goodies, I think. Let's might as well do it. I was on like a little tangent. Oh yeah, didn't know how that worked. Frames, weird, weird shit. Fall under. No idea. Roar. So then, let's uh, sort of, well, mosey on. Uh, a chest, which of course we will punch to make sure there's nothing evil inside. Oh! I'm not sure if I covered this in one of the other night setting. Very nice. Not sure I covered this in one of the other videos, but if you're wet, you stay wet for a long time. As you can see, I'm leaving damp footprints around. Now, aside from looking pretty cool, and my clothes get darker, and my hair, which is also cool. Aside from that, looking pretty neat. Uh, the main function of that is if I can actually take fire damage easier when I'm wet, I don't take as much. However, my lightning damage is doubled. Think Pokemon ish. Oh my god, guys, what are you doing? No. No, that's not how you do it. You never go up against a wall like that with your back. This is not dying 101. I mean, you only get one chance of not dying, I guess, but still. <laughs> also, just like the last game, there are NPCs we can talk to, who we can summon in for fights, who will also have a story to progress. So we'll be doing that mainly because it's quite cool. 
And even though it can take the difficulty away from some of the bosses, eh, you really want to know how difficult it is to play it yourself. You've probably got a general gist of it from how I play it. So, whatever. Anyway, this is Lucatiel. What is it? Or Lucatiel. I don't know you, and you don't know me. That's a mask, by the way. Creepy Things looking mask. That way. Oh, Lady Kikoski doesn't take no for an answer. <laughs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see this mask. To you, I'm called Lucatiel. Lucatiel. There you go. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. Oh, all right. I punched most of them in the balls. And so I came to claim my share. Well, you can, but they've got, like, fist impressions in them now. What a strange place. Even the rumours did not prepare me. For what? The utter shithole this place is? Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Lady Kokoskia blankly stares ahead, caring not for anyone's plight. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people, while you've made a point of engaging me. Well, I pushed A on you. I didn't really say anything. I kind of just stared if you down. You are -journey. If you require Rubbing my thighs. I will help you. I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. Which is a little bit morbid. You are anyway, same thing again. Blah 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 blah. Now, the best thing to do always when you see these NPCs is exhaust their dialogue. Also, that special effect. Oh, it's so good. The lighting effect on the bonfire is amazing. Anywho's. Goodbye. Wink. She disappears. Now, there's lots of theories behind the bonfires, which I'm sure Epic Name Bro is probably way, way better actually talking about than me. But, uh, still. From the general gist of it, they're, si they're standard points in time. Like, whenever you use one time seems to revert back to how the bonfire sees it and of course that's why all the baddies come back and that's why you can do things again I think there's a bit more an in-depth idea but that's just generally my idea on it I, th I don't know whether anyone else has that similar idea but anyway welcome to not old man's wharf it's uh, no man's wharf it's uh, kind of dingy in here isn't it <laughs> so we're getting shot at okay so this area is actually quite a nasty one not only is it quite long uh, but, and there's a lot to it, but of course there's these dicks firing arrows at you, and these dicks on the ceiling throwing shit at you, and generally it's just a gigantic area full of dicks. So I make up for that by punching the shit out of this guy. I'm pretty certain this guy wants to have a pop as well. I'll punch the shit out of him too! Yeah! My lean green punching machine! <laughs> Ow. Let's not punch walls, please. I may swap to a different weapon, actually, to break stuff. I will probably have to swap to a different weapon before this section's out as well. Simply because there's an awful lot to do here. Okay, it ain't breathing, so it's fair game. Yay, tiny shards, which I do actually need, which is nice. This area is full of goodies as well. Punch this asshole, punch this asshole. Get hit by the flames. Now, the fire arrows, while annoying, aren't particularly dangerous. Until one of those dicks throws a big pool of goo at you. Now, this big pool of goo is probably oil or tar of some sort, which, of course, is a fairly flammable. Which means you get hit by fire, you go kaboom! And not in a cool, like, movie where you just go kaboom in, like, a really sad, you're gonna die way. Look at that dick! Not putting up with that with you, mate. So, it punches us. The fist weapons are pretty decent overall. I think the general problem with them is the range. If I have to keep close... Which isn't a massive issue, I guess, but... Uh, I need to buy some more fireballs. Balls. <laughs> Benoit. Sorry. Okay. Oh, another good thing. If you get hit by tar or whatever shit, you can go into the water to rub it off. <laughs> rub. Alright. Oh, I missed? Come on, man. We can loosen these guys off a little bit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so I'm probably covered in goo now. It doesn't look like I'm covered in goo, but you may have missed. It's hard to tell. Oh, you see that absolutely horrific thing over there? Yeah, he wants a pop. But luckily, he has a gigantic fear of light. Alright, this guy's just a dick. Eh, hey, come here! Knob jockey. Honestly, come here, come here. 
Okay, so this is the guy. He's all like, Eah! they make absolutely horrific noises and need punching. But since I got the poise, re okay, that doesn't do anywhere near as much poise damage as I hoped it would. That's really quite unfortunate. I'm going to die. Shite. Oh, now you're scared of the fire, you prick. I uh, guess we're uh, going back again then. <laughs> Balls. You know what? You can watch this. Uh, if I got to do it, you can bloody stick around as well. The pain comes with it. Alright, but I'm not going to make you watch the running though. That's just tedious. Alright, so imagine I didn't completely fluff that. And it would be quite cool, I imagine. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> you're a dick. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. You're also a dick, but you're pretty slow. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. The last guy is kind of bored. Doesn't really care. Slightly annoyed at that goblin freak monster that came out and didn't get annoyed by the light. He's supposed to just not like the light at all. But he's going to be a real penis about it. Aren't ya? You're going to be a penis about it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm going to punch you in your hole, dick. Not your dick hole, though. That's just not allowed. Uh, pain! Oh, God. Why do you have such long reach? Eh. Alright, so, obviously that's bad. That, that's bad. So I use my life gem, and I hope I don't die. Don't really want to use all my... Hey, you know what? You know what? You're a dick. Have have a knife. Okay, he's not dead. Have another knife. So the first run through the wharf is just kind of rough with those guys. I may get the shield out for them, just simply because it's easier. Um, that, That's generally my reasoning there, actually. It's just because it's easier. No other reasoning at all. In fact... Ooh, goodies! Okay, Dark Pine Resin, which I will probably never use. It's one of those kind of things that you have and you don't use. I, I was going somewhere with that, but it's uh, completely gone. You're not moving. You're not moving. Someone's got to move. How about we start with you, sir? I will punch you until you die. Then I will punch you until you die. Because this is the way of the fist. I'm like some sort of evil asshole Mokujin from Tekken. You did not get damaged by the poise. You should have done. Ass. Okay, so we've got loads of places to explore. Mainly places that involve getting someone punched is ideal. Like him. Of course, we're doing very badly on the old health department. I should have brought a particular ring that would have helped with that, but I, uh, well, I didn't, did I? More importantly, Ring of Life Protection, which is going to be my ap my absolute friend for the rest of the LP. Okay? This thing is awesome. I will show you what it does. Okay? I put it on. It's jolly good. I'm at... Really? I'm above 50%? Ugh. Yuck. Alright, well, just stick that on instead. Okay, the fact that I look absolutely hideous right now is something I just can't deal with. I'm not some sort of undead goblin. There we go. We are now have Lady Kikoski's beauty back in full force. And drinking an Estus Flask because, you know... Anyway, getting off point. So, what the Ring of Life Protection does is, if we die, it will break. If it breaks, then, uh... Um, well, it breaks. And then we have to get it repaired. But the point being is, we don't, like, lose our humanity. Which is excellent. Nor do we lose our souls. So it's kind of a get-out-of-jail free card. Which is a little bit bullshit, but there we go. Okay, dog. Sorry, you're getting punched. Hey! Dick! Sorry I was punching your dog. Nothing personal. Also, this punching thing makes this difficult. Ugh. Need the stamina to punch you harder. Cool. So we got Nobladokus up there. Nobladokus part 2, trying to send nasty flame arrows at us because, well, they're lame. So I'm going to go in here and just punch all his mates instead. Because that's what I do. Alright, I punched two mates at once, which is probably a really poor decision. And it involved me, it involved me getting... Fuck! Fuck! Okay, so plan B is fuck these guys. I'm using a shield and stabbing them. Alright, you. You can start. You're getting stabbed. Alright, oh, right at the ass. That's how this is going. Yep. Yep, there's gonna be an anal evacuation here and it ain't gonna be mine. Whoop. Let's get stabbed. Get stabbed some more. Oh, was that? You wanna be part of the old group stabbing? Why, why didn't you say so? I don't mind. It's a pleasure. It's my molesting stick. But with prongs on the end. It's like a double molesting stick. A prongly death. Either way, I don't think I can do this bit with fists, and I just skipped all that. Whoops. To see what that was. Sorry. So, and it's got a re it's really fragile though, so I can only use my prongy stabby stick for a while. 
I have to go back to my punchy, molesty death. For different bits. Oh, hello. We're going to be part of punchy, molesty death instead. Ah! Too bloody right. I'm going to save my stick for special occasions. Like, when I hate people. Like this guy. But I'm going to punch him in the balls instead. Ah! Oh, shit. Last bloody thing I need. Piss off. Right. Better chug some Sunny D. In fact, I will chug some coffee while I'm at it. Mm. Okay, so fun fact, my fridge stopped working. So I can't even have tea anymore. I've been denied tea! I didn't even drink tea and I've been denied it. What kind of bullshit is this? Yeah, my fridge my fridge broke. But it's okay now, I think. But I lost all my milk, which is bad, obviously. Oh, piss. When were you full of dogs? Alright. Pointy stick time. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Here, doggy, doggy. Here, doggy. Here, doggy. Here, doggy. I've got to do everything with my bloody stick. Oh, you ass! You utter, utter turd. Really? Really? I can't even stab him in it. You know what? I'm just gonna walk around into this house. Yeah. I'm gonna go behind you. I'm gonna stab you with my pointy stick. Then I'm gonna stab your dog. Oh, good! There's a miragerie in here. You know what? You can get. Okay, that doesn't work anymore very well. Alright, I stabbed your dog. Then I'm gonna stab you. Then I'm gonna block your attack and stab you some more. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That went right nicely. Of course, I could just use a scimitar. Or I could just give up on this whole punching thing altogether because it's the whole not using a shield thing like weirds me out super bad. Whatever. Can I stick you up in the bump? Oh, I can! Get stuck! <laughs> oh, God. Tragic. Okay, did we explore this house of doom? I can't remember if we explored this house of doom. I'm gonna assume we did, but I'm gonna explore it again anyway. Mm, there's nothing in this house of doom. So one would assume that I did. Some of these houses have invisible walls, by the way, and I'm desperately trying to remember which ones they are. Failing, probably. Either way, we've basically done what we need to do here, I think. Barring the fact that I've got to destroy some of the scenery every so often. Bollocks, I'm going to miss one of the secret walls, I bloody know it. Ugh. Okay, this bit is absolute piss evil central. It's full of these one-eyed wankers. Come here, you lanky tosspot. Yeah, look at your clory hands of doom. Yeah, you want some? You want some? Well, you can't have it. What the? The main problem with these guys is they don't take much poise damage. I don't think you can actually... Ah! Do a lot to them. Except goad their attacks and hope you don't get more than one at once, which of course you get tons of later. In fact, I may as well punch this asshole. Yeah? 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 What's that? Hit me? Oh, why didn't you say so? Ah! Bollocks! Oh, now I'm gonna die. Uh, not quite. The bleeding in this slows you down, if you didn't notice, which is incredibly irritating to start with, among other things. Oh god, I just loathe you. You suck. And you know you do. I should have bought some more throwing knives. Seriously, melee people in this game? Throwing knives are your biggest friend. There is no better friend than throwing knives. They are so good! Ow! I was nowhere near your gangly claw of wank! Go away! Take your nasty, crusty hands somewhere else. Nobody likes you anyway. Yeah, exactly. You one-eyed freaks. Of course, I really don't want to die. What's it say? Hurrah for revenge! Thank you. Insightful. Alright. Turd number three. We gotta try and goad him into doing his, like, big old slappy wanky hand thing. And not get butchered in the process, of course. Glug, glug, glug. One, two, and then punch, and then flee. These guys are even more than the knights. They're only in this area of the game, luckily, which is just as well, because these guys suck so bad. But I suppose if you take them slowly, they're not as bad as you'd imagine. 80? 80? What is this budget damage or us? 90? That's more bloody like it. What am I paying you for anyway, Lily Kikazuki? Honestly. Okay. Good thing is we get an item. Hooray! And stuff we're never gonna use. Bad thing, we gotta go for an entire house of wankers. Boo! Oh boy, this sucks. Okay. We don't technically need to do this, but it's worth doing if I can survive. Alright there, knob. How's it? Well, that's just rude. What we want to do is chip him. Like, 
Derek, so using the last of my throwing knives, sadly. But my throwing knives do more damage than my bloody fists do. Urgh. Dick. Because there is a pissing lot of them in here. As you can see. Now we're probably going to have to leave them outside. Actually, while I'm at it. Have a bomb! Ah, oh, that was pathetic. That was really bad. Okay, so. My plan is to lure them somewhat. Ah, oh, come on. Now, obviously they won't follow us down this far, so we can use that to our advantage. Like, how to use my last sodding Estus flask? Oh, come on, have I got anything else I can use to attack these budget, budget pirates with? <sighs> Let's see. No, that would be no. I got some divine blessings, which is fabulous. Lots of items I really don't want to use for healing. Hmm. Okie dokie, this is going to be plan B. I think... I can't remember if this opens up the shortcut. It probably doesn't. It's probably the house below us. Once we clear this room, the rest of it's not quite as bad. And we haven't got to do it again, which is something. Hello! One at a time, if you please. There's plenty of time for you all to be tossed spots at once, trust me. Now, we need to get our bleeding gauge down a bit. Oh, well, that's just dandy. I'm going to have a little bit of trouble doing this, then. Oh, dear. This is the worst bit of the wharf, by far. I'm trying to deal with these tossers. Could have, I could, of course, just light a fire and just avoid them completely. Oh, dear. Come on, we need to get him to go into attacking. Come on. Preferably the not shit attack. Well, I can dodge a bit easier this one. And stab him. Okay, that's one down. Good. This is quite tense. I have to do this without any healing 